everyone and welcome back for another haul. We are starting off with Walmart pickup again. So I have I will have Walmart and Aldi to show you. Walmart cost $162 and let's just get started. Needed some more diapers so we picked up those. I got 10 pounds of flour. I'm going to start trying to make um, more things at home like breads and treats and stuff like that not only to save money but to help with some just knowing what's going in our food like I'm not going to do perfect at it clearly I've bought convenient stuff but I'm just trying to start getting into that so I got 10 pounds of flour this time um, I noticed <laughs> every time I do need flour I'm always out so 10 pounds of that. Now I just have to find, figure out how to, like, what I'm going to put that in. <laughs> I got some more tortilla chips. And then those Ripple chips. I ordered the Wavy, but they were out, so they substituted those Ripple, which is fine. I thought I would give the Great Value Cheez-Its a try for the kids. I got them some granola bars. I thought they'd like those. Uh, Brian's been getting the cheese curls at Aldi, and he really likes those, so we'll probably get some at Aldi, too. But I got the ones from Walmart just for him to try to see if he likes those um, any better or worse. I picked him up some cheese crackers. We got four boxes of mac and cheese. This Great Value brand is actually really good. I'm not a big mac and cheese person. Like, I don't... I don't mind it, but it's not the first thing I go for. But this, at least the spirals, even Brian likes it. And he's pretty much dedicated to craft. He said that he really likes that too. I got this Steak and Chop Marinade. I've never used this before, and I'll actually have to try it before I marinate anything with it. Because I don't know if Brian will like it. But I am going to try and make pork steaks next week. And I thought about marinating it in this. If I taste it and I don't think Brian will like it, I'll figure out another another way to use that. But I thought that sounded good, so I thought we would try it out. Pickles, because I noticed we were almost out. I'm going to go back here. Um, Faith needed some more dog treats. Um, I, a couple of people have been asking about Faith, and I, I can't thank you enough just for thinking of her. Um, she's very special to us, and watching her get worse is very hard and the fact that you people take time to think about her and our family that just really blesses my heart and means a whole lot um so just a quick update on faith she is getting weaker um she still has joy in her life you know we can still get tail wags she's still moving around but i do think She's lost a little bit more weight, I can tell, in her back end. And her back end is getting weaker. So walking and getting up on the furniture and stuff, she needs a little bit more help. I bring her dog bed out every day, and she's kind of stubborn. So she used to really like it. Then she saw that the kids were getting into it, and now she won't sit in it. <laughs> so she's so particular. But anyway, I just... Again, I just want to thank you for thinking of Faith. Um, keep praying for her that she just stays comfortable. I am not ready to make any decision. Um, I really don't want that responsibility, to be honest. I don't. I just hope that if it is time for her to leave us, that the Lord just lets her go to sleep one night and takes her that way. Um, yeah. So, but we will do what we have to do when it gets to that point. She is getting weaker. We can see that. We're just enjoying the time we have with her right now and giving her extra cuddles. So anyway, thank you again for asking. Those dog treats are for her. They are the soft ones because I noticed her teeth are even getting worse. Um, she used to never have bad teeth. Now... They're just starting to get worse, so she needs softer stuff. So I got her soft dog treats. I got some coffee creamer. That's a new type of bottle, and I don't like it. <laughs> but I have had this flavor before, Southern Butter Pecan, and it's actually pretty good. So I got that. Got some milk for the twins. Two packs of bacon this time. You can only see one, but there is two under there. 
or there's two together. Um, I got these honey batter chicken tenders. I bought them hoping that the kids will like them. I don't know. I I've had them years ago, and I thought they were good. So we'll see if they like them. Plus, the Tyson chicken at Walmart right now is on sale. So it was either I was going to get that or um, the dino nuggets, which I might get those next week if they don't end up liking those. If they're still on sale. I got some more cream cheese. The two pack of that. I got cottage cheese. This one blows my mind. So you guys know how picky my twins are. I've told you multiple times. The other day I had some for dinner and they kept saying bite, bite. And I'm like, are you sure you want to take a bite of this? Silas especially is a very big texture person. Like he won't even put rice in his mouth, which I did get him to eat it one time. But anyways, he spits weird stuff out like that. And if you ever had cottage cheese, you know that that has a weird texture. So I said, okay, well, you can have a bite. So I gave it to Evie first. And she she's like, okay, yeah, I want that. So I kept feeding it to her. And then Silas kept saying, bite. And I say, okay. So I gave him a bite. And he ate it and didn't spit it out. I thought for sure that boy was going to throw up. But no, he didn't. He was just like, I'll eat more of that. So I got them some. And I'm super happy if they'll eat stuff like this. So. I buy this stuff, and then <laughs> I've said it before. I'll try and feed it to them again, and they'll be like, no. But if not, I've been mixing this stuff in with face eggs, too. Sour cream. I like to make ranch out of that, and my plan is to have taco salad um, for lunches next week. So uh, I'll make a dressing out of that. I got some block cheese to shred on my own. This sharp cheddar is for Brian's uh, work lunches. I like to cut him up a couple pieces and give it to him for his work lunch. And I got Sharp and mozzarella to shred on my own. Brian asked me to pick up an extra pack of hot dogs so he can, we can cook them up for his lunches next week. That's what he wanted to take instead of pizza. I got these pork steaks. That's what I'm going to marinate in, maybe, if I think Brian will eat that. Eggs, if I didn't already say it. Two packs of hot dog buns. These were a substitute, too. Um, I'm trying to think. There was another substitute. Oh, I haven't gotten to it yet. Okay. I ordered Wonder Bread. They gave me Ballpark. It didn't matter to me. Got Brian some of his cane sugar. This was a substitute. I ordered Texas Toast because on the meal plan is breakfast sandwich, toaster sandwiches from, like, Sonic, you know? If you've ever had those, they're called breakfast toasters. And um, I thought I'd just make up my own version of them. They didn't have Texas toast. But this is still really good bread. I love this bread. So they substituted me for that. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I noticed this week. My substitutions were costed the same as what I had ordered. Does that make sense? They were for a while like, this is more expensive than the Texas toast. They would have charged me this price instead of the Texas toast price. But today, I noticed they... Went back to like a dollar. The Texas toast was like a dollar ninety eight. This is like three dollars normally, and they only charged me a dollar ninety eight for it. So if you guys notice that on your Walmart pickups with your substitutions, have they um, gone back to substituting for the equal price, or is that just me? I don't know. Sorry if you can hear that in my background. I backed up into one of the kids' toys. I got some lifesavers. And some of these Jolly Ranchers, which Callie and I have already gotten into. They're really good. They're like ma mi mix ups or something. So it comes with green apple and grape, which was okay. I tried the blueberry raspberry, blue raspberry watermelon. It was pretty good. And I haven't tried the orange and cherry yet, but we got those. Kids got some donuts. I I like to get them something in the morning because I usually do my pickup in the morning. So I either get donuts or I take them to McDonald's. This time it was. Donuts. I got some English muffins. I don't know if the kids will eat these. Um, I thought I would try, especially when I do my breakfast sandwiches. Um, I don't know. I got some Canadian bacon in the fridge, and I thought um, ham, egg, and cheese on these would be good. <laughs> so we'll see. If they don't like them, I'm sure I'll eat them for breakfast or lunch or something. Well, I don't really eat breakfast, but lunch. <laughs> I got the kids some more, or the twins, more training toothpaste. They've been 
They love to go brush their teeth at night with Cali. This looks broke. Um, I got this. They're little toggle clasps and this string um, for Callie. She's been playing beads, and the stuff that she got with her bead kit, it doesn't shut, and then beads go everywhere. And I freak out about that stuff because my twins still put stuff in their mouth. So I told her I would get her some stuff that would work better, and I'll help her, like, attach it to that so she can make necklaces. I got Brian a loofah. I noticed the other day his was getting a little bit straggly. I got some um, safety glasses. The other day I was weed eating and um, I hit a, a giant weed and something flew into my eye. It was so gross. I guess it was like a pod or something and I could not get it out. And I'm one of those people that you cannot touch my eyes like I freak out. I don't do well at the eye doctor. When they do the little puffy of air, they have to like hold my head down. I don't like anything to come near my eyes. But I actually had to go to Brian and say, Brian, I can't get this thing out of my eye. And it was this disgusting pod. So I'm like, okay. He's like, you need to get some of these safety glasses for next time. I said, yeah, you're right. So I did. I got those for him and I to use when we need them. And I also got them because I'm going to be working in Callie's room within the next couple of weeks working on her ceiling and I got to scrape off some ceiling so I knew I was going to need that for that and then the last thing is some hummus I haven't had this in a while um Everest like this actually looks kind of weird is this dark to you it's not like showing up on camera I'll have to smell that before I feed it to her but I mean, I'll eat it and I'll be fine, but I would hate it for her to eat it and it not be okay. Normally, it's like a lighter color. On here, it's showing up as a lighter color. Maybe it's just my lighting. So anyway, Everest liked this the last time I had it, so I'll try and see if she'll eat some more of that. That was a whole lot of talking for... Well, I got quite a bit. Anyway, 162 at Walmart, and I will show you Aldi next. Okay, so this is what we got from Aldi. As you can tell, it is not much at all, and it still costed $47. There's like 17 items here. That's insane. So, let's just get into it. I needed some sugar, and I had run out of powdered sugar, so I got two of those. Some American cheese, and then some cheese sticks for snacking. I let Callie pick out which Pop-Tarts she wanted, and she picked out the fudge ones. They've never had those before. Ground beef to make dog food. I'm pretty sure we were out of milk chocolate chips, so I went ahead and picked up... Um, I don't have any specific plans for them this week, but just to make sure I have on hand for when we do make our treats. Some yogurt, cherry, and two strawberry. That's for the twins. Some bread for sandwiches. Uh, just a tub of butter. Brian picked out some corn chips and the cheese curls. The pickles are for his work lunches. And then some apple juice. So that is it. $47. You know, when I checked out and she told me my total, I'm like, oh, wow, I did really good. And now getting it on the table, it seems like a whole lot less than what it did in the store. So... Anyway, that's what it is. So I hope that you enjoyed this haul. Thank you so much for stopping by. And until next time, bye friends.